And thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my amazing co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ak. What Hello. up, ladies? How, how are you doing? doing? Well, how are you guys? Great, good to see you, Ife Omai. Okay. I love the energy on the table this morning. Right. Yeah. Mm. And we need that. Yeah, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Low energy has been too much yeah. on trend, so it's nice. It's nice to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you too. You were oh, nice to know that you're up and about again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I don't even know if it's the flu or if it's fear or the fear of the, Like, I really don't know. I think yeah. it's, it's a blend of everything right yeah. now. Yeah. And for me, I think it's Because each time I wonder, is this how I breathe? You know, <laughs> it's like, mm. am I, is this how you I... second guess every oh single guys, my thing. neck is warm. Is your neck warm? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, well, it's quite, we'll it's quite an uncertain time. Everything these days is second guessed and it's, yeah. it's not so good for, for the mind. You know? yeah. We have to protect our mental health. Yeah. 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 So listen to a lot of music and vibe. That's it. Yeah. And watch the time, of course. We're here to make you happy. Now moving on, the weekend was sure real and scary for many, especially those active on social media in Nigeria, as popular Instagram comedian Sidney Talker took to Instagram to beg the government to help him as he's down with symptoms of coronavirus. The video, which garnered over 22 2,500 comments shows him helpless and unable to breathe. Also narrating how hospitals rejected him. However, there's a follow-up post to that. On Sunday, he shared another post thanking the Lagos State Government and NCDC for reaching out and carrying or carrying out the test. He says he's now stable while awaiting results. Mm. Okay, so um, I, I'm happy there's a follow-up, but um, it still doesn't take away the worry. If this wasn't Sydney Talker, who shared it on his um, Instagram with 1.2 million followers or mm. thereabouts, is this how um, the, let's say, the real average Nigerian, because I'm not going to classify Sydney as the, you know... Completely average. Uh, comp yeah. yeah. Is, is this how it is going to be handled? Hmm. Um, when I saw that video, well, I had, I had, a, few, I had a few thoughts... Um, I, I didn't trivialize it in any way, but you know, then the, the the person of Sydney Tucker comes up like he is, is it, yeah, it comes up like a joke. I like, am I supposed <laughs> to take this seriously? Is this one of your skids? You know, yeah. I just couldn't really place it. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, that the, the follow-up video now made me realize, okay, it was that Serious, real. Yeah. You know, and then hindsight, I'm like, okay, if that was it, then I think we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And that also um, brings to mind what somebody said after the chairman was tested positive. Yeah, we're getting And that David Adams said about 30 or 31 members of his crew also had to go through the test. Um, some lady on social media found that pretty much offensive to the sensibilities of Nigerians, mm. that the test kits are not available, and there you are testing people who were not, um, they were not displaying symptoms, mm -hmm. you know, um, just because they were around David, I, I suppose, yeah, of course, as a school cool member, that's, right it, that's how she said it, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, that this is a problem in Nigeria, that people in privileged positions will always be treated better and fairly than those who are not privileged. And she found that really an insult to the sensibility of Nigerians where we don't have enough test kits and you wasted about 30, 30, 30 test kits on people who at the end of the day had no business being tested. You know, 30 test kits and 30 BG guys. Yeah, that's it. Ah, you know, and so, um, I'm beginning to see my talent <laughs> you know, in this place. And I'm just hoping, as of today, the, the, numbers, the numbers are 111. Mm. You know, I'm hoping it doesn't escalate beyond what it is right now. Of course, it will go higher. In, in all, in all, escalating in all is what I'm not hoping for. Even, even um, health experts are saying if it should escalate beyond this, we're not necessarily prepared. We don't have Definitely. adequate facility mm -hmm. and equipment to curtail it if we should experience a surge in the spread of this virus. And mm. it's, it's worrisome, it's scary. Uh, I, I've noticed that this problem is not just um, solely attached to Nigeria. Nigeria. I remember, um, um, what's her name, Cardi B's video. Even though the first time she made the video, she was she didn't articulate herself properly. properly. But the follow-up video was too spot on and she spoke for everybody on this globe right now. We find people who have power that get tested when they're as, uh, um, Asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. Thank you. Um, and then you have people who have the symptoms, have short breaths, but they can't take the, yeah. the, the, take the test because they don't have enough beds yeah. all of a sudden. So I know it's something that, you. Um, to be honest with you, I've always 
been comfortable with people's privilege because I know that's not going away. Every time I oh, I, I want to fight for something, they say, yeah, it's been going on since then, and now it's just happening to a right person. I'm like, yeah, we'll take we'll take our wins when we find it. And I know that. So I'm, it, my personal my own personal interaction with these is because I'm comfortable with the fact that there'll always be that case. Um, but for somebody who's having shortness of breath and all of that stuff, yeah. to be honest with you, I feel like, and this I, I don't know if this is not a medical opinion, but I rather people even like self medicate for a while just because you're going to, I feel like you're going to a place that's worse than your house. That's just me. Yeah. If I'm going to go and put myself in a Nigerian system, like I, I really hope that I need it. Um, and I saw the video and he was, he was panicking. It's really scary because I'm asthmatic and that's exactly how I am when I have an asthma attack. So I could even relate to a scary because I'm like, if, I, if it's just asthma, imagine now I'm going yeah. COVID, adding COVID to it. So it's it, I understand that, but I still feel like there's a lot that has been given out in terms of self-medication self and drugs that we can use and herbs and things like that. So if he can do that for a while till he starts to get bad, then, you know, he can um, go forward. But another thing I noticed is that at least he was seen. The, it shows to me that the NCDC is working. They actually care to an extent because, yes, he didn't get the right treatment at first. But his, his recent tweet, not even this one, the one after that, where he's saying that, or maybe this is the last one, um, where he's saying that, you know, they reached out to me. So they're listening. Somebody's telling them because something. Because he went viral. He reached out to them right. at first. And they told him to take, is this something, cough syrup? or so that he, the symptoms are not enough yet to carry out yeah. a, 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 a test until he posted that video and then it went viral before they reached out to him. Yeah. So it, it, it still worries me. And I think this conversation at the end of the day, when we, when we have it, what we usually talk about is what will happen after COVID. Yeah. And I think that's where I'm going to and again that, right now. Because, sure. okay, sorry. Okay, because um, um, we're hoping that we'll be better for it and um, pay attention to, to sectors that should um, get attention. That is health set, uh, yeah. health sector, right? But I also want to speak to the um, corporate organizations, our private people. We cannot wait for the government because it is proven that they are very incompetent. That's just the word. There's no other word to use it, to say, right? All these monies that are being donated now. Now, I saw what GT Bank did with Lagos State Governments. That's... Access Bank also. Commendable. Access Bank, yeah. UBA. What if we had place this level of attention in Before. our healthcare system. Even if it was a case of, okay, you do this and go back to the government and say, we're doing this, so this level of tax has to be taken away. From, you know, if we had paid attention as a people, we won't be running around like headless yeah. chickens right now, yeah. right? So I'm hoping that after COVID, our private sector, which is almost the only hope Nigerians have, which is where most of us work, can come together to say, how can we make Nigeria better for us? Because mm. at the end of the day, if push comes to shove, if this gets down, trickles down to uh, the grassroots, they're not going to care. Mm. You know, like Riley said, I think I'm, I'm hoping to see more um, private um, um, firms, people come throw their support behind the federal government. Yes, the federal government cannot do it all. But does that mean they, they've done enough? I don't think so. I think there's a whole lot the federal government should have done to curtail the spread of this virus. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Yeah. And you know, and this money is not necessarily their money. It's taxpayers' money. It is our common wealth. You know, so at this point in time, there's no need being stingy with it. And now there's, there's, there's a complete lockdown and the federal capital territory, Lagos State, from 11 p.m. tonight. And, and I'm, st I'm still worried about the state of being for many Lagosians, residents who can't even fend for themselves on a daily daily basis. Well, I mean, How, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, initiatives that went on during the weekend. Yes. To give them I, I want to commend the Lagos State Government. Did you see the execution of this thoughtful thing, though? It was yes. terrible. Of course, we, we usually you know, get execution wrong. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so still, I, I want to say kudos to the executive governor of Lagos State. He's, he's actually yeah. taking a great lead when it comes mm. to the fight and I'm covering the surge of this virus. You know, and so I'm, I'm really still bothered about that. Who, those people who are listed as essential services, mm. I hope the supermarkets will understand that they're they also, they also part of that. You know, because prior to this time, many of them already shut their doors to people. You can't go yeah. and you buy from the, the open windows. Restaurants have shut down. You can't go in to eat. You do your takeout. So I just really hope that well, they will from, understand from that. From Barry's body yeah. language, I don't think they are even... I mean, when you listen to Lagos State government speech and all that, it was clear. But from Buhari's statement, <laughs> it, nothing was really clear. It was That's a total it. lockdown. That, he was even saying yeah. something about if we deem you fit. So there's yeah. supposed to be a clearance yes. before you open. So we don't know how this will go. I just hope you know, the law enforcement agency will be properly briefed because we don't want a SARS type kind of situation 
in, in this um, kind yeah. of situation. Yes, we should stay home. I mean, we've been clamoring for everyone to stay home, but there are things we can't do without. And yeah. I hope that they have the conversation it's to It's also good to it. add that we don't have kids in Nigeria, actually. We used to do the blood test um, thing. So there's an idea that we're running out of, of kits or something. The reason why we don't have that many tests and it's taking that long is actually because we're not using kits. Yeah. We are using um, the blood test, so like in the um, whatever scope thing. Um, and that's why it's taking long. But um, we had um, kids donated to Nigeria, but a lot of them were fluctuating like the rest of the world have been mm -hmm. have been saying, and then they've also been moved to some places yeah, and things all, like all that. Thousand, all the thousand <laughs> testing kids. I'm just wondering what that would do in the, the populace of, of close to 200 million people. It, well, it, it, sounds, people. it sounds like a joke, and I think that actually came from a Chinese billionaire. Mm. And you're wondering what are our billionaires uh, doing let's around not here? too hard. Everyone you know, is doing, um, everyone is doing yeah, what they agree. can. I think is. people like Dan Gote or yeah, Tedola. Yeah, he has also um, uh, who else donated. Tinubu so donated yeah, 200 donated million, it, so. although I saw because the, you know... <laughs> Yes, yeah, so some, some people are trying to take their personal. Let's move on um, so to a story that you already is, mentioned, is Choma money. testing um, positive. And a lot of people felt that um, the responsibility of the 30 BG gang is um, something we are going to suffer the consequences as we battle this same um, situation. Because, mm. I mean, remember when they all went to Ibadan and um, chilled with the governor. Now the governor says he's self-isolating and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, when everybody was making noise, and that's what they called it, noise, right? It felt like it wasn't making sense. But right now, we can see. The good thing is at least 30 people came out um, negative. It's just Joma. And we really hope that she gets until, better. But they, until, until, until after 14 days, and the, they, should, they should test again. Again, right? So the irresponsible acts, like someone put it on social media, the irres irresponsible act of the privileged ones in yeah. this situation is what is keeping us in this position oh, yeah. right now. Because everybody that have imported the sickness are privileged. Yeah. And they were following the news. They knew when this was declared as a pandemic, but they still hopped on the flight to leave the country. Yeah. They left the country, came back, and started shaking and mingling with everyone. So it is quite sad. We're already here. Let's look for how to get yeah. past this stage. But it's we, we have to call it what it yeah. is. This is our own irresponsibility. And I feel like we have a very good mother dealing with us called COVID-19. And it's not just... Um, um, I, I've noticed even um, throughout the weekend where there's people getting their hands smacked with COVID. A lot of people that have been irresponsible for the first time in a long time are not getting away with it. We have a bigger person that's not class or money mm -hmm. that is dealing with people. There was a challenge on TikTok about licking the bathroom. Yeah, um, three of the people that's who gross. have a lot right. of following that did that test are, are, are actually in hospital now begging for their lives. One of them is actually not even being attended to because guess what? Um, Instagram privilege is not the same thing as I, real I mean, life there's privilege. Someone, there's some guy that got jailed. Like yes, the guy that licked the, 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 guy the, that licked the, 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 the toilet bowl. The, like, the, the, no, no, no. The guy that licked the thing in the aisle. In the yeah. 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 Um. So it's. I think it's the same thing for, for when I look at this case. It's, I'm not trying to say that she deserves that or whatever, but it's just something to think about. Like the fact that you you have money around you and you you create this false sense of security, security. that you know that you are beyond beyond reproach. And this is such a, a humbling thing. Like I would be very surprised if this doesn't change the mindset of people or even her mindset to this going forward like you have to start taking things seriously in nigeria because we have so much money and there's money can do a lot more here than in other places to be real because we have a low standard of um, labor or whatever um people really truly believe in power in money here and i think this would teach people that you, you beyond money there's a lot of things that you can't protect i'm just very glad that her child isn't involved the innocent person which is the only person i can remove from that but davido and the rest of them like you need to wake up and realize you're very you, responsible yeah you that was really responsible yeah you know i mean for me i'm just i'm just one thing bothers me about all of this that the mother is positive and, and the baby is negative yeah and so there's still a whole lot that yeah, needs to there, be there's a report yeah. i read there's still also a whole lot that needs to be children are actually about, to a great deal Immune, immune, immune to, immune to, to it. I mean, COVID which is, which is, but they're which still is, getting. We've had a child die yeah, over the weekend. Six months America. old. I mean, there was a six month that was yeah. infested with it. So, <sighs> you know, so yeah, like you, 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 you couldn't have said it better. Um, David Doe is gang. They, they should, they should take responsibility for their responsibility. You know mm. what I mean? And they should be held accountable. Um, it, it, that's what comes with being privileged. The culture of impunity. I mean, runs, runs through the, 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 the fabric of those who are privileged in Nigeria. Because if you once I have many, anything, everything goes. You know, mm. but. Now, this is one thing that's happened. Nobody saw this coming. It's humbled everybody, both the rich and the poor. Nobody's escaping this, you know. But again, I'm just hoping at the end of the day that 
the federal government would do what is expected of them to do. I think this is more than you the know, federal government. Though. Um, like they say, they want everybody to do a lockdown. Do, if Nigerians yeah. don't actually say now, that I'm to not do even the lockdown, talking about a lockdown. I'm talking about our health sector. The need yeah, to totally this, right? overhaul and right. reform the okay. health sector. We need to do it. Yeah. Right. You know. So we need to go on a quick break. But when we return, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still by. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. The biggest problem with Nigeria is greed. To, um, the people in authority are too greedy. I hope for once they will think beyond lining their pockets and do the right thing for the citizens. Oga, don't pocket money meant to aid the society. God will judge you majorly. And this is coming from Nollywood actress and producer Omoni Oboli. Yeah. Omoni Oboli. I think we've said that, I mean, in more than one word yeah, on the table have. already this morning. Um, that the privileged few in the society should realize that they, they have a responsibility and there's some things they're not immune to, mm. like COVID-19. Nobody saw this coming. Right? I don't so, think this is the time to play uh, politics with no. anything. And, and that is, that's yeah. been the bane of Nigeria's issue. We politicize everything. And once every, anything gets politicized, corruption is inevitable. Mm. You know, to amaze you how much of corruption is going on now because of this COVID-19, the funds meant for this, for the treatment, for for um, stopping the spread of this virus, how many people are already thinking of what they're going to benefit from it, how they're going to pocket some embezzle. It's what just ridiculous. Entrepreneurial you know. thinking, wow. And so um, th there's a whole lot, there's a whole lot of national responsibility that behoves everybody, our leaders, those in government, those in public offices. You know, and they say we elected our leaders. They're from us. They're not from out of space. They're not aliens. They're from us. And so um, we have every right to hold them accountable at this point in time. And I'm hoping the whole of Nigeria, we're going to wake up realizing, you know what, this is going to continue this way because we're allowing it. Mm -hmm. It's not because they're more powerful than we are, no. Mm -hmm. The power is with the people. And there's so much strength in that world that many people are not realizing. So it's like we're bent over, and so they're using us as, you know, as their table to do whatever they want to do. The very minute you realize, you know, I can't keep doing this any longer, and we rise. Um, we proved that in, um, what was that match that took place in 2000, and was it 2010 or 12 now, um, Occupy Nigeria? Mm. You know. We, we exercised our power mm, there. Who wants to talk about you know? Nigeria, really? <laughs> as much mm. as, again, people felt it became politicized as oh, a means yes, for some people to, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to take so. power. You know, but it just shows how much power we wield that we don't even know yet. Mm. So it's, it's continuing because we're allowing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for the government speech to me. Oh, what? <laughs> See, we need to, we need to vote for Benny for next year. Wow. Maybe he'll show us the oh, way wow. forward. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing that she said that's new. Um, the only thing that didn't do for me was just waiting for God to punish. Like, I felt like I need, like, a yeah, punishment right now. Like, um, this... We need impunity. Yeah, we need, we need to do it now, like, today, yeah. with humans. Um... <laughs> Because God works in mischievous ways, and we we need something more clear. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we need to be able to see like, yeah. what's happening. Uh, maybe God needs to give oh, us God. that wisdom to be able to, to do that. Um, it's sad, it really is, and it's true. Um, I, I, because I've been watching so much international news, I kind of feel better about Nigeria because that mm. while all uh, this sounds like every, something everybody's talking about. Yeah. Um, so I, I get again. Mama COVID is just trying to teach us something. And I feel like going forward from when we reach the end of the tunnel, where the light is, uh, it, it, for every country, I think things would definitely change. And I'm anticipating that. Okay, I hope so as well. The band motivates people during this pandemic using the lo loss of his son as a point of reference. He says, for the first time in 21 months, I slept in my room. I thought it would be easier, but the memories are so fresh. And although my family and I have been through so much in this time, I woke up this morning with a grateful heart, knowing that I can be a source of viable hope to anyone going through a hard time due to this pandemic or personal issues. Just know that tomorrow will be better and you can turn your pain into motivation. 
stay strong. You know, it's just, it's just funny how we're proud to this um, pandemic. Everybody was dealing with something on, on every level. We're bothered about something, you know, one yeah. small yeah. That's thing. It. Everybody you was know. dealing with something on, on the different levels they are. And now even worse with this COVID-19. Someone would expect like someone in the likes of the band, you just think he has his, his carefree. But no, I mean, you know, I, I won't trivialize his, his pain, his experience, because that was a very pretty tough time for him. Of course. You know, I tried to put myself in his shoes. Imagine losing losing a child, I mean, and, and the way the child had to go. Mm. You know, to think, you think by now he would be over with. And look at how much of an impact that had in him. He couldn't even sleep in his own room, you know. And so people, are we have people dealing with different things at yeah. different faces in their life. And so all we can do at this point in time is, you know, be kind from the distance we're maintaining, reach yeah. out to people, call them, send a note to ask them how they're doing, hope they're okay. Is there anything you can do to make it easier and better for them? We're all dealing with stuff, but some of us still have things we can use to reach out to people to make their state of being and living right now better than it is. So yeah. please don't hesitate, reach out to people, make that phone call, make that text, send, send that full stop. It could just go a long way in helping somebody live through this, this uncertain time. Yeah. Uh, um, just to deviate a little, um, I even like, had a friend call me saying that she was running away from home. She's kind of, she's a child actually, she's like 16, 17. Oh, wow. um, and her father, you know, molested her and things. But because school used to be a good escape, she doesn't mm. have that anymore. And it just made me think about how oh, wow. much people are going through having to be stuck with... Um, Personal demons, yeah. let's put it that way. Yeah, um, oh. but uh, going to um, Debanj, it's... I'm really glad that he's sharing this. He hasn't really talked much about yeah. his son. So. I remember, okay, for me, I'm a, kind of like a quick responder. Like, as this happening, as the day hurts, like Nigerians say, I respond. So sometimes I, I always don't understand people's silence because I'm not like that. I remember thinking when his son first died, like, oh, why is he not saying anything? I'm like, why is he not acting? And I remember he went to perform, like, really quickly, like that weekend or something. I was just thinking, is this man mad? Like, this boy pretty much died from negligence. Well, on... No, not, not intentional negligence or whatever, but still negligence. Um, and I was all sorts of angry. But when I saw this, it just made me realize that, first of all, grief comes in different ways. Yeah. And um, we, f we say that, but you forget when it's actually happening. Yeah. Like, it looks so different for, for different people. And they might look fine, and he was performing, and they even, you know, did other stuff together as a couple and their baby and all that type of stuff. But to hear that he hasn't been there for 21 months, it's like, well, then that, and that's just like a peak of what, like a sneak peek of what he's going mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting to see, and it's really sad, but I hope that this period as well, I know if anything is going to be stronger, maybe not the economy, but family units. I and mean, I feel like they can take this opportunity to just get to heal together. I, th I think you said it quite right, and I hope that his message can motivate someone to know that we'll get through this some way, somehow. Um, I know sometimes when you're trying to motiv motivate people, I'm not a huge fan of it. Actually, when I know what this person is, is money, yeah. and you're talking, <laughs> stay strong. So I understand the pain. I know. I think it's even painful to talk about. So yeah. It's painful to talk about, and I hope that people can actually get through this some way, somehow. Yeah. And um, I know the president send, said that the aid, I don't know what he's talking about, but he said it's rich people that you find a way to distribute it. I, I still want people to hold on to that as some form of hope, yeah. hoping that they will do something, some conversations around trader money and all that. So I'm hoping Market that they will money, find a way. Money. A way <laughs> Why are you sound like that? Yeah, I'm hoping that they'll find a way to distribute something to the yeah. people because people definitely, we need it right now, definitely. Yeah. All right. My president came talking about um, the school feeding program. I mean, that schools are on suspension. Schools yeah. are not in. So you should he, think about using that money now to think how you can help families mm -hmm. who will be stuck yeah. this period. I think that's. I really think they're doing. trying to use the, the the details from the school feeding yeah. program so I look to, to find help. them. Yeah. Mm. Okay, moving on to our final story, I think. American comedian Lonel has revealed that she banned her daughter, Danielle Campbell, from her house after the latter refused to take the coronavirus pandemic serious. Mm. <laughs> Put a foot on the ground and yeah. then I learn some lessons. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean... That's, I'm, I don't have any problem with this. Because so she, even she following the news, do. if we, yeah. I mean, the initial news, because coronavirus has stumbled everything now. Like, yeah. following that, you would realize that people in her 
age category uh, at I'm risk. More prone, more, yes. You know, so if someone who can survive it is not taking it serious, please go and yeah. hang with coronavirus yeah. while I safeguard my yeah, life. I'm yeah. not ready to die yet. So it was yeah. very funny how she also said it. Um, and it's true. Like there's a there's a guy who's battling serious depression now because him and his dad used to live together. He mm. got the virus, gave it to his dad. Oh, the dad mm. died and he survived. He's healed now. Mm. And come back, he doesn't know how to function. Like he does. How do you live with that type of guilt? So. Um, it's, it's hard. I think one of the biggest things for me, because I also have a sibling that's not staying at home as like he should. One of the biggest things for me is that you somebody else will put me at risk or I will put my family at risk. And then Which I, is the biggest fear of this whole yeah. coronavirus thing because I can do everything mm. necessary, but if the next person refuses to take the right um, precautionary yeah. measures, you at risk then too. I'm also at risk. Yeah. Uh, so I hope that people actually take this thing seriously. I, I'm, I'm guessing as we continue to ring it in people's heads, like uh, even I'm tired of ringing it in my head. I, keep, I feel like if we keep on doing that, maybe we can flatten the curve. I mean, our curve is still really, really low to, based on what we have, but I'm hoping that people actually start to sit at home and understand that like this is for the greater cause. I don't know, maybe people are not like, why not? maybe we're not um, disseminating that information properly. Like, I don't understand how people still don't get it. Because there was a case of a guy who had a party and he was 25 and it was a big deal and he invited less than 10 people, but he got the viruses. <laughs> he ended up being positive and he tried to do all the social distancing. But I still feel like that's irresponsible. I get the point. It's supposed to be isolated. When they say 10 people, they're if not... you have to have fun, try the house party up. I mean, I'm, you I'm, know? I'm yet to get in. I oh, don't know gosh. why they're not uh, sending I'm, me the code, but uh, I mean, whatever it will take for you to yeah. go, try Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, TikTok, trailer, yeah. house party. TikTok. Be on your phone and have some fun. Yeah. There's so many things to do on the phone. If like. it's not compulsory, I don't think you should be doing it right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Like, look at me, I could, I could hardly stay a day without going to hang out. I mean, after yeah. work, lounge, but it's, Malia, it's not, like it's not even come, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not even come to mind in the last couple of weeks. Like, yeah. you know, like, let this just pass. Please tell them what pass, you're doing. You know? Maybe that would help. Um, I, I stay back home. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I take a, a long walk many times around the estate. I listen One, to music. Uh, I, I, I've been doing a lot of Netflix and Three. I, just, I just got involved in watching Money Heist because so much has been said about that series. Great. And that's a you guy know, who a, would always hang out. I mean, he's my co-anchor. Yeah, he hangs out every day. <laughs> and he's at home now, taking a walk, Netflixing, oh, yeah. listening to music, music, and what yeah. else? And just, just, just chilling, generally. Chilling, yeah. So you can read a book as well, yeah. right? Yeah. And solve the internet and learn more about your... Okay, now this is very important. So you can use this period to actually increase your knowledge span. Yeah. Use YouTube, use... I mean, YouTube is, is it. Yeah. There is nothing you want to learn that you cannot actually yeah. find on YouTube. So expand your knowledge, read those books, a get ready for that course. I was just going to say, get, get, get on Udemy right now. Udemy courses. has all of the free courses yeah. you this can learn on Udemy. This language, guys, it's a bad or something. They're giving like 2% um, off. Or, no, 2% of their cost. For free. That's what they're giving yeah. now. So like if it was 100 Good. naira, so it's now 20 naira. So there's a, there's a whole lot you can do right now yeah. online. Stay home count. All right, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Beniak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin and please do stay at home and keep watching Plus TV.